Um, my name is Dr. Pandula Ataudarachi, Consultant International Cardiologist Attached to Durden South Centre, Colombo. I'm a board certified consultant from United Kingdom with a fellowship in interventional cardiology. My area of clinical expertise is heart disease intervention, both in the fields of coronary interventions as well as structural heart disease. It's very important to realize that blockages of blood supply to the heart can result in serious consequences including death or heart failure if not treated on time. If a blood vessel gets blocked suddenly, it could result in an acute heart attack which needs urgent treatment and this treatment is best served by undertaking an immediate coronary angiogram plus angioplasty option called primary angioplasty. Well, it is nerve-wracking for a lot of people when they talk about heart procedures and coronary interventions. But my advice to you is you should actually worry about the complications that ensue by not treating these conditions in a timely fashion. Some people might develop chest pain, breathlessness, unusual tiredness, fainting attacks, and sometimes cough-like symptoms that doesn't seem to be going away. In either case, it's very important for us to be screened with proper tests that may be able to pick up coronary disease ahead of time. And perhaps your doctor might be able to pick up certain physical signs that might point out to problems with your heart valves and complications that have already occurred. In the world of blocked coronary arteries, it is important to recognize that there will be partial and complete blockages. Partial blockages are usually easier to treat and are quite simple to treat by stent angioplasty procedures. Complete blockages, on the other hand, represent a real challenge until up to now, and they usually needed open heart bypass operation or just standard medical therapy for treatment in the past. Here at Durden's Hospital, even the most complicated 100% blocked arteries have been performed successfully with stenting procedures. Our success rates have been uh, at par or above par with the best centers in the world, and our complication rates have been very low. Another problem that we commonly encounter when trying to treat patients is the presence of calcium in hardened up blocked arteries. Now, both the surgeon and the interventional cardiologist can run into difficulties when a patient is deemed to have this problem. Here at Durden's, we are fortunate that we are able to help you in this regard by being able to drill through the calcified arteries and unblock the blockage and stent the artery successfully. Previously, we had open heart surgery as the only viable option for heart valve conditions. But here at Durden's, we are happy to announce that we have performed the first five local anesthesia only implantation of artificial heart valves in awake patients without open heart surgery. We have also taken the treatment of heart failure to a different dimension where if you had already developed heart muscle weakness despite previous surgeries or previous procedures and are no longer eligible for further treatment, then we are able to offer the option of transplanting your own stem cells into the heart through the coronary arteries. To date, we have performed about seven such cases for end-stage heart failure with varying degrees of success and no complications at present. In my experience, age is not an absolute contraindication to treat people. My oldest patient treated uh, with coronary interventions is 96 years old. The youngest I have treated with coronary interventions is about 22 years old. Both of them had substantial heart attacks. The younger man had a heart attack involving the main artery. The older man had a heart attack involving the old bypass graft. But both, because they came on time, could be saved with prompt coronary interventions. My advice to you is, in certain circumstances, it is possible for us to screen people with heart disease at an earlier stage. But in some instances, it is not always visible beforehand. Some people, 
develop symptoms over a period of time, but in other people it strikes out of the blue. But it is important in either case to comprehensively treat in a center with excellent facilities available to hand so that you can uh, get the best out of the situation. Even if you are 90 years old or if you are 20 years old, it doesn't matter. It is worth paying a visit to discuss your cardiac problem with us here at Dern's Hospital to find out the best possible solution that can quickly alleviate your problem.